welcome to the MBS show, episode number 248. I am your host, Norma Sanzo, and I'm going solo for this week because I'm recording this on Chinese New Year, and, well, everybody's busy with their own celebration. So anyway, not going to leave you hanging without an episode this week, I am going to do this solo because, you know me, I just like to record, and SweetieBot needs the check for something I, I don't know don't ask I, when I ask her she just says don't ask so <laughs> I'm not gonna ask anymore so anyway let's not dilly dally and let's head off to the first news so we start off with the theme of last week which is tabletop RPG for you guys in the states Barnes and Noble listed Tales of Equestria for March so it seems that you guys will be having this book pretty soonish. Barnes & Noble is a bookstore in the States, if I do recall. I'm not 100% sure how much this is going to cost you guys. Probably around about 30 plus bucks, probably. I'm not 100% sure. And for you guys locally here in Malaysia, um, your best bet is to try and find it at any of your... Um, RPG stores or even Kinokuniya. That's the best bet. Um, other than that, I got no idea because over here, my best bet is to try and go to Singapore and take a look. I'm not even sure if they're going to bring this in over here because of how niche it is. But for you guys in the States, I'm sure you'll be able to get this no problem. Don't forget to get their accessories like those dice, counters... And those expansion and also the bestiary. The bestiary is really cool. So, moving on, following the same team as last week, is writers. Writers for the show. Jennifer Skyly, I think that's how you say her name. Um, she's the writer for Buckball Season, uh, and that's her only writing credit. And well, she's not returning for season seven. I guess she was busy at the time. <laughs> Who knows? In all honesty, her episode was fun. I really like it. You can hear my thoughts over at the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast where um, me, Silver, and Sapphire reviewed this episode. And I think we have a general sense of we like this episode. It was really fun. As for now, she has other projects, probably other writing projects that she can talk about. But she is hoping for Season 8. And I do hope that she gets a spot in Season 8. One or two episodes, probably three, I hope. And last one on the news is Hallmark's It's a Bitsy Pony Plush now listed on their website. So, what is this It's a Bitsy Plush? Well, um, in all honesty, these are 2.25 inch tall plush that you just buy on a whim because you're at Hallmark and you wanted to buy a gift card or something like that. Probably DVDs of their quote-unquote Hallmark shows. So if you're interested in getting this plush, I do know a few of you guys out there who are interested in this. Uh, this plush are available for $6.95. That's just $7. And you can get Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, and Rainbow Dash. I'm missing Rarity and Applejack. Hmm, I wonder why. But anywho... Uh, the plush are available on the website to purchase and they look pretty cute. They look semi from the other plush. This could be one of their things where, you know, um, you remember those Funko pop minis? Those little bobblehead ponies or bobblehead stuff? It's just almost the same look but you just change the color, branding and whatnot. Like, I have a few, Zootopia, Overwatch, and so on. And I don't mind collecting them. And with this one too, if you're a plush collector, I'm sure you'll buy them because they look cute. They look adorable too. For 7 bucks, I say if you buy them once a month, or if you buy them outright straight, like what, uh, 7, 7, 7, 4, 28 for both or all of four of them yeah i say it's affordable if you have the paycheck for it so yeah um that's about it um ooh, one thing i do need to mention is that 
the Twilight Sparkle plush has no wings. This could be season one to three Twilight, or they forgot. I don't know. I- I'm gonna lean in to they forgot because Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy has wings, but Twilight doesn't. <laughs> uh oh well, no biggie because some people don't like the eloquent Twilight. So yeah, <laughs> this fills in some kind of niche, I guess. And that's the news for this week. And before I leave you guys, I, well, carrying a segment that we want to try and bring on every week is what has been entertaining us. Besides the video games and the YouTubes, well, this week is going to be another YouTube channel. And for this week, what's been entertaining me is, well, besides the best friends and unit loss, is, um, well, a channel called Yo Video Games. Yo Video Game is, well, a gaming channel. They have a lot of things that they do. And right now is the season of Resident Evil. And they're playing almost every Resident Evil. Right now they're playing the Sega Saturn version of the first Resident Evil. And Resident Evil 7. So yeah, that's going to be cool. Like, if you don't have the means to play those games, why don't you just, let's watch. They're not that long, 20 minutes or 30 minutes per video. If you want to catch up on the Resident Evils, this is a good place to check them out. They also do other games like um, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, what else did they do? I'm seeing Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, and uh, the crazy stuff that they do. It's totally random. So that's what's been entertaining me for this week. So before I leave you guys, I need to tell you guys about something. That is the MBS Show Patreon page. So if you guys like the show and want to show your support, you can always go to patreon.com slash the MBS Show and support us by giving a dollar every month. Um, you'll get a shout out on the end of the show, a big huge thank you. And if you want to get your topic read on show, um, that's five bucks. We'll talk and discuss about the topic that you want. Terms and condition may apply. So, for example, if you want us to talk about Overwatch, I'll find a few people and we'll talk about the Overwatch. Either on this episode here or on the discussion show. So, that could be very interesting. Like, I played a few games of Overwatch. Will played a few games of Overwatch. And Silver Quill does play a few on the PlayStation 4. So, you'll get the spectrum of how does the game work on two different platforms. PC and PlayStation 4. I don't know anyone with an Xbox One, so... Yeah... So anyway, that's our Patreon page. Please do go visit. If you can't, if you can't donate, you can always, well, spread the news. The news is always nice. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, at, at the MBS show. As for myself, I am at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyOfLife.com. And also please do check out our newest endeavor, the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you have me, Silver Quill, and Sapphire talking about the My Little Pony episodes, comics, movies, if they come out. Uh, especially this year, 2017, near October, the 2017 My Little Pony movie. We might, we're going to review that one. There's no mic. Give you our thoughts on said movies and whatnot. And well, besides the ponies, we do other things there too, like movies that we watch in theaters, discussion on things like, for example, Mary Sue's, or even video games. So, do check us out over there because it's fun and entertaining so anyway I have been your host Norman Sanzo and catch you guys with another episode next week see ya